Hello YouTube, it's Joel again, giving you an update on my solar furnace. Before I do, I want to show you the temperature outside. Here in Statesville, North Carolina is 42 degrees at 11.44. Okay, let's take a walk in here. It's a sunny day, um, so I've got my solar furnace working. And we have a temperature reading of 110 degrees currently blowing in. With it 42 degrees outside, 110 degrees is the air blowing in. Walk outside and show you how, a, how I have this thing wired. Beautiful day outside. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, here's my 18 volt trickle charging solar panel. As you can see I have it running down to my battery box. And inside my battery box, I have a 12 volt car battery. I'm only using one car right now, so I had an extra battery. I just popped it in here. Um, has little alligator clips, positive and a negative. And then I have my positive and negative wire running from that to my snap disk which is located inside. There's the wire running up and it runs into the solar heater. And then right there's the two screws. It's got it screwed to the back of this uh, piece of metal that's inside there. Um, as you can see my insulation, styrofoam insulation it gets so hot inside that it shriveled it up. I do not recommend using styrofoam in these things. They get really hot. I will be taking the back off of this thing in the spring and replacing the styrofoam with a fiberglass insulation. But it still works great so I'm not going to fool with it right now. My 4 inch hose insulated that's how it's hooked up. I got two 12 volt PC fans that are one blowing in, one blowing out inside. I'm pulling the air from the bottom of the house right here and blowing it out here. 110 degrees blowing in. 42 outside 110 blowing in. It looks like it's still climbing a little bit. So, there you have it. Working great. Saving me money. That's what it's all about. Saving money. Okay. That's it for now. We'll update you later.